Konnichiwa Otakus all over the world. This week's anime was Black Butler. Now, um, this anime was so good. I felt completely in love with it because the artwork and the characters and the story. Now, this is about Shieru or Xiao and Sebastu Chan or Sebastian, which is his this little kid's butler, but he has a contract with him and he's a demon. Now, um, this anime, I saw six episodes in total because the fifth episode is split into two parts, the fifth and the sixth, duh. And um, I don't know, I think this anime was exquisite. It was so, so, so good. I fell in love with Sebasu Chan. Tanaka is one of my favorite characters, even though he's barely in it in a way that he's always like drinking tea in this limbo place and when he becomes the real Tanaka he says the most profound things like it's amazing and it's hilarious because he deflates himself into this tiny little butler and I love that character and I love how this anime is really serious but then it becomes a huge fat joke at the same time and it's just it balances the entire thing out and I love love this anime I am going to read the manga this anime I will finish because it's just amazing the way it's drawn the way it's set in the Queen Victoria's era which is amazing it's refreshing to watch an anime that is not set in Japan and it's set somewhere else I mean um, I love anime but it's usually set in Japan the story and I think it's amazing Madame Red was also one of my favorite characters because of the because of her struggle and the way she spoiler alert died and I thought the way they represented demons and uh, reap reapers which is amazing it was just mind-blowing to me this anime I've, I've never heard about this anime before and I fell in love with it. I totally recommend it. It's a must see and a must read if you're into reading manga. Thank God still an ongoing manga because I'm totally dipping into that pool because I absolutely love, loved this manga. And that's it. Mata